What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zillion, Zika Milligan, the villain, Phil and Trilligan, and we are back on Persona 5 Royal. Say something different right now. Say something different. Oh, actually. Hold on. Why have her up there when I can have her down here? Hold on. Give me one second. Say what's up to Nobara. Isn't she adorable? Look at her, she's eating a watermelon. We're back on Persona 5 Royal. We've almost got, we, we should have our knowledge maxed out soon. I think I'm gonna focus on that for a now. motorcycle shaped persona, huh? That's hard. You know, I can turn into a car too. So it's like, I feel a sense of familiarity. Motorcycles are cooler. You just don't get it. Don't underestimate the power of four wheel drive. Shut up, we're gonna. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. I really am special after all. If I'm being real, she only got to carry me. Carry? No. Take somewhere? Something just crossed my mind. Bro is a bag boy. It's no use. I can't remember at all. Hmm. Eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. What if Morgana is like Pharaohs? He's the death arcana. And it was his job to like carry people to the other side. Hold on, hold on. I doubt that though. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever. So we can expect great things from her. But man, you really do have something special. Coincidence. Looks like I better step up my game too. Please do, you piece of trash. All right. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos too. I'm sure Makoto's brain can. Hello? Hey, don't wake me up! <sighs> We got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Could there be some reason for it? I'm the GOAT. Yeah, that can't be. I'm the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. Although it's somewhat nerve wracking as well. <laughs> I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway, um, I wanted to apologize. I'm really sorry for everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To Kamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt. So I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm very sorry. Hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. It felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm hmm Oh, but one more thing. <laughs> That's cute. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. She's spitting. Don't worry, I've been listening the whole time. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. Did I press record? Oh, thank God. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. Facts! <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. 
When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Um, yeah. I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto. Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? Oh, uh, that's sweet. Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? That's sweet. That's sweet. I realize this is a mighty late, but how shall I refer to you, Nijima-san? I believe some courtesy should be shown to those who are our senior. Oh yeah, should we call you Nijima-san or Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal, just treat me the same way you would anyone else. We're honored. Ain't that too formal? <laughs> I just, I already just call her by the name. For real? Did something happen? That's a secret between us girls! Sounds like fun. All you may call me by my first name, no need to hesitate. Don't do that. Hey, are you listening? No, he didn't see that. Are you? You penis sucker. I, I don't like that guy, he's mean. He's a meanie. Yeah, let's do Maruki's <laughs> social link for a bit. We're gonna do a social link right quick, and then we're gonna buy some new materials if possible, and then we're gonna jump into hmm. the um place tomorrow. Been getting a lot of students coming in ever since I arrived. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. Whole mess with Kamashita was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students have been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college interest exams, relationship problems. In other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with scars from the incident, yes. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps towards recovery. Thanks to you, probably. Well, we, I can only hope so. I don't think I've done much, but I've, I, if I've helped even one person, and that makes it all worth. I know I'm not the most reliable guy, but remember, you can talk to me too if something's bothering you. I am the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's see. Having said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask for your help, but... Remember how I asked you to help me with my research? Of course. I said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry, it won't be anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... But let's see, maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little bit about what this research is for. Or what I'm studying now is pain felt in the mind, or perhaps more fancily in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone saying hurtful things to you or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clearer. Pain defined by abstracts like trauma or stress. Bodily physical pain could be thought of as something necessary, an auto autonomic response to injury, illness, or whatever. Still. But what about the pains felt within one's heart? The pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies, right? It's something strange and immaterial. I guess it goes to show that there's still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I, well, I want to I wanna learn more about these internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your heart? I mean, you know, you can feel bad when you lie, but is that really enough to feel a pain in your heart? I mean, it depends on who you're lying to and what about, you feel me? Like, some lies can really make you feel like a piece of shit. I feel like this is, like, not the right answer, though. 
I'm gonna say when I lie. I'm sure he wants to hear like a positive answer, like something like, oh, you're a good person. That might not have been the right answer. That's true, that twinge of guilt is a good example of internal pain. It can be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. For example. How about the pain of a broken heart? That kind of pain is only born because we fall in love, right? Have any thoughts on this kind of pain? It's a seed for new loves. That's how I feel. Never took you for a poet. Hey, bro, I be spitting. Wonderful sentiment, a very positive way of looking at it. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with. Though some say it's always coming with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair assessment. Though personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a way, they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research to save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. Did it help? Right. Of course, thanks to you I can articulate my thoughts for once. Alright, what do I get out of this? Receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of battle. Oh, that's hard! That's hard! That'll do for today. Oh? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? <gasps> Your mental training! I didn't forget about our promise, of course. I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline. And you help me with my research. That's just like we decided, right? Something like this today. Alright. Well, see you. Bro, they gave me a house paradise. This is Maruki. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. I just finished my last counseling session for the day. I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Good work over there. Thanks. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they got something out of it. But to be honest, it's pretty tough juggling this job and my research at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking I might be looking to you for help more frequently from now on. It'd mean a lot if you can lend a hand. Then you'll see you later. No son of Kaneshiro acting on his threat. He probably thinks the money is gonna come rolling in. He does have the upper hand on us after all. If that picture got out, who knows what would end up happening to Ken Zerk? Worst case scenario. Guess worst case scenario, be he gets expelled. No, there's a more serious alternative. He's currently under probation, meaning... I'm so sorry, this whole situation is my fault. Come on, stop that. I mean, you're the one who's in the most trouble right now. Sister's a prosecutor. This will surely be a problem for her as well. What should I do? Kanashira must surely be taking that aspect into account too. Let's change his heart. Even the police are having trouble with that bastard. We'll be heroes if we catch him. High risk, high reward. You're also positive. In a way, your recklessness is the only way we're able to pursue this change of heart. We're in deep shit, so we're gonna do whatever we can to get out of it. I never thought of things in that way before. Strange hearing something so positive from Ryuji. Shut up! Alright, shut up. When your position changes, your view of the world changes too. It's a shift in cognition. In any case, we're in big trouble. Talk a lot. Uh, let's hang out with Mishima. I completely forgot all about him. We can't neglect Mishima. <laughs> Today's my treat. Phantom Thieves are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. Oh, and it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? Steak. Doesn't it? Meat's perfect for tough guys like us. By the way, this place is all you can eat, so make sure we get our money's worth. Actually. Anyway, I posted on a fan site that I had connections to you guys. The phantoms really ate that up. The fandom really ate that up. <laughs> <coughs> Don't worry though. I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I didn't know talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization though. 
The donations I got after that were pretty generous to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for strategic management, huh? You're amazing. <laughs> Piece of cake for someone as skilled as me. Let's take advantage of this windfall as much as we can. Oh, and it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? Wait a minute. I've seen stuff on the I've seen on the news that donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense. But can the same be said of an expensive buffet? Oh. The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use the donations here. People would get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. Yeah, that's true. He, he's on to something. He's on to something. The same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. You're right. That's right. Yeah, we really need to make sure we keep the image of the Phantom Thieves clean in our fans' minds. Think I'll return the money and thank the Phantom for their generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? Man, maybe I was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly pretty, pretty good at it. Don't worry, I'm still gathering info on the forum, too. I actually have quite a few solid leads right now. Everything so far has been so close to home, but these next ones are going to blow your socks off. Alright. Oh. How are we going to cover our meal? <sighs> I'm flat broke. <sighs> I guess let's just go home. At least we did the right thing, Mishima. Oh, sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. Strategic image management rep for the Phantom Thieves. I wanted to splurge a little to boost morale, but... I guess it ended up being pretty good for our PR in the end, right? You'll get better ideas. Leave it to me. We'll just consider today an investment for our future. There's so much more I have to do. There's still so much I have to do for you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Okay, bye. I've been thinking a lot about personas and palaces since yesterday. That floating bank really reflects Kaneshiro's personality. Huh. He's flying around so no one can trace his steps. He doesn't trust anyone. I bet security's tight in there too. That's why we should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? I was planning on that. Great. I'll leave my schedule open after school so we should all get together. Makoto, you okay? Has Kaneshiro threatened you or anything? He's been demanding money, but I choose to ignore those messages. Is that okay? Have any scary men shown up to your house? No. Kaneshiro still has the photographs in his possession, remember? Perhaps that advantage is why he doesn't feel any urgency to act. You think we're safe for now then? Yeah. They said those pictures are bad news for us. Change his heart as soon as possible. Ah oh man, I'm about to be in there for a long time. I hope this isn't as long as Kamashita's. Isn't no uh, personal one. Younger student came to consult me consult with me about something the other day. He's getting blackmailed at his job by the store manager. Inexcusable. Money went missing from the register he was supposed to be in charge of. These then falsely accused of stealing money from the store. Now the manager's making him pay back the full amount. Fifty thousand. This seems odd. The guy is like the most honest person I know. There's no way he steal all that money. Research about the store online, rumors, manager might be the one stealing money. He's the only person that checks the registers after all. Some other staff saw him taking cash out when he was calculating totals. The guy's name is Nozomi Odo. I found it out when I looked into the store. Let's go. Part-time job, full-time hell. I'm finna go and touch on you like Braille. Eureka! 
how do you freestyle? How do you freestyle touching somebody? What? What's the deal? <laughs> Curious, huh? Well, I've come up with a super cool idea. Lady On will surely swoon for me if I... Sorry for the wait. She don't like you, bro. So, what's up, Morgana? Supposedly, you'll swoon. From what? Well... It's something I've been giving a lot of thought. Okay, get to it! Now that we've all gained some experience in battle, I think it'd be good oh. for us to work on our finishers. Oh. Our finishers? Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah. I guess if we're going to keep fighting, we ought to do it with style. Right? Right? So I came up with just the idea. It's maybe my best one yet. And we can definitely pull it off if the we play a part in it, Lady On. Me? Well, okay. What do you need me to do? Now that's our Lady On. Quick on the uptake. What I had in mind was... And that should do the trick. Really? So is that a no? What did bro say? Well, it's not that I don't want to. It's more like, isn't your idea sort of impossible? Even in the metaverse? Huh? What was that? What is that? The star Jose gave to us started glimmering. Could I have reacted to something? Sup? Never imagined that I would end up helping the Phantom Thieves. Things would get interesting if my sister ever found out. There's no time to be getting sentimental here. Yes, I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Can you teach me how to be a Phantom Thief? Like, about the metaverse, for example? Simply put, that world is formed of a person's cog. Yip yap, yip yap, yip yap, yip yap, yip yap. Dang, what happened? Navigation app. Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Oh, snap! That's a good point. Now she's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Wow, hold on. Do you know anything about it? A long-nosed man. What? I want to tell her the truth, but it's tough to explain that Igor has been sending out the app. I don't fully understand, but I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. From what I can tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. True. An app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly common. My boy place. Igor! Well, Sis doesn't know who the Phantom Thieves are, so... I suppose our information is safe for now. We're still learning things ourselves. I hope your sharp wit can help us with that. Thank you. I'll do my best. More importantly, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. If the public gets a hold of them... I could only imagine what would happen then. Come on, just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Plus, people will really start admiring us if we can manage to take this bastard down. You yeah, talk too loud! We have to succeed no matter what. Alright. Deadline is July 9th. Yes. We're going Let to the palace. Go. Yeah, that's it. Just going to the palace. Alright. We're gonna go as far as we can for now. Until we can't go any further. So, what am I gonna be called? You all were using code names, weren't you? You're quite perceptive. Night. This time's a hard one. Night. Maybe night. Something like uh, shoulder pads. Color night. Why in the world did you focus on that? I refuse to be called that. What about Ryder? That's hard. Sounds too much like a smuggler. Okay. Next. Night. Fixer. What? I'm not a mastermind, though. Next. Night. Won't you give me something better to work Night. with? Night. She reminds me of an empress. You got anything, Joker? Hold on. Queen! Whoa, I totally see it. 
She looks more like a knight, though, not a queen. It fits so well that I'm at a loss for words here. Queen? <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. I like it. Let's go with that. Now then, could you explain to me the strategy for this mission? Uh, strategy? You don't have one? Wait, the Phantom Thieves were acting without any plans? Um... <laughs> Uh, we pretty much look around the area. I provide navigation when needed. And then, uh... If we run into shadows, we beat the shit out of them. Yeah? Very well, then. I feel like I'll be useful for sure. Seems my role is to be the brain of this team. I'll analyze Mona's information and give out orders. Any objections? None, none, queen! I'm the leader! I bet Skull's definitely the type that'll be under a girl's thumb. I'd be under her thumb. Mona, will you begin navigating us? Mm. Yes, Queen! <sighs> Him too, it seems. Indeed. Able to use the same method as last time to get here. Apparently we are acknowledged as customers who can be extorted. That's fine. Take advantage of his negligence. <sighs> Scary every time. They don't want us leaving through that gaping hole. Hmm. We can't get in now. Taking it too far. Nah, you saved nice. us. Serious as we haven't been for Queen's actions, things. Joker. Let us search for a new infiltration point. I can see it. Alright, let's see. Hmm? What could it be? The draft's coming from underneath the statue. Doesn't it seem strange to you? Whoa. Head inside. I would say given this interior design, we were inside of the bank. It seems our plan went well. I don't remember seeing this place last time. Just where exactly are we? Map somewhere we gotta search around. Uh, hold on a second. What is that? A shadow in the shape of a dog. It seems this place has its own watchdogs. That's interesting. I don't like the looks of this. You mean because you're a cat? <laughs> Hell no. I mean it might be able to sniff out intruders or hunt us down super fast. If it does end up making trouble for us, that could actually work out in our favor. We'll have a chance to finally show off our surprise finisher! Sorry to butt in. We've been spotted. Cerberus? When two attack, when two team members work together. Oh, it's the same. It's the it's the thing. Shut up! It's the thing from P4 when um. It's that thing from P4 when 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 the two team members would do an, a special attack. Do it. I saw the jiggle. A uh, did you hit a single bullet? This is Dude, what was that just now? When'd you guys figure out how to do something like that? <laughs> Fruit of our secret passionate training. Uh, yeah, I guess I did put some effort into it. So I'm surprised it went so well. Do you think? Oh, you know what it could have been? Maybe it's because of the thing Jose gave us, that star-shaped thing. I think it even gave us some kind of twinkle back then. You mean when I told you about the team-up idea? Um... The star, I guess we call it, reacts to Mona's wish to fight alongside Panther. Wish granting stars. If that's truly the case, we're just encountering one strange phenomenon after another. It 
Moni and Panda can pull that off. Can we do it too? That would be sick. Try coming to one of those badass moves of our own? We'll call it Art Run or something. He did not like that. A lot we don't understand. What I do get is if we use these stars, we'll be ready even in battles. Most likely occur when you baton pass. Showtime most likely to occur when you baton pass or another member in a pinch. It can also happen when an enemy is near defeat. Showtime will only activate for Anna Morgana, but you'll obtain more combinations as the story progresses. Hey, I thought I took you out the team, bro. The heck? Lower floors are in here too. Elevators lacking a control panel. Effective measure of screening. That must mean they really don't want anyone going down there. I want to. I want to see hers. Oh, she looks terrifying. What the heck? Oh, that's hard. Show me a true form. Shut up, dog. Aren't getting through. Alright, die. Okay, guys. Hey. Here we go. Ambush. I'll reveal your true form. Persona. Let's go. <sighs> we somehow managed. This monitor. This appears to be some kind of monitoring room. I hope we can find clues in here. Hey. And it's something. I and it's some kind of key card. Oh. And the map. Bet that's where the treasure is. Hmm. Only a portion of it is depicted here. Unless we can obtain another map, we won't know for certain. The cursory glance shows this building alone as one underground level. It will probably make sense to head there first. Go into the elevator we found earlier. Hmm. Yeah, last resort. Passed by a door we couldn't open. Okay. Is there nothing in here? Um. Key card, this may work. Right then, let's just open this up. Oh. How about that key card? Shut up! I know what I'm doing. Ooh, that's the elevator. The one controlling externally. So this is right above it. Control room. What's the point of coming here? We can go to the basement. Well. We should be able to ride on the top of the elevator. Sneak atop it and wait for it to move on its own. Talk a player to take us further Let's down. Go. Wait for it to move.
This the basement. Listen up. Looks like some rats have infested this place. No circumstances let them further down. Strike the security as much as you can. It looks like. It seems painfully obvious where the treasure is now. The map from earlier doesn't show that much. I wonder if there's another one somewhere. Down is the best move. Keep your eyes out. I'm gonna say this right now. I am not going to get caught by any shadows. No, no shadow is going to see and catch me. I'm calling that right now. It's not gonna happen. Oh. Cameras! Tighten the security will show up on there. Can you use observation of skills? Yeah. I can feel it. Jerks, I want that too. Alright, because of these stupid freaking cameras. No promises on the whole I'm not gonna get seen a single time thing. What is that? What's wrong? Bicycle kind let's check it out. Power supply, camera. Nice going. Oh, we killed the cameras. Let's get it. That was close. We need to get through this area. Let's do it. Show me your true form. I meant to heal. I forgot to heal in the safe room. You may already know this, but inflicting status ailments on our enemies is a very useful tactic. I especially recommend it when you can't take advantage of an opponent's weaknesses. Now we can go up here. I'm sure this is just like a, a, a access way. Whoa! Whoa! Exceedingly spacious room. Mm. According to the map, we should be able to head down from here. Sounds like intruders are wreaking havoc in here. Quiet down someone talking. There's floors and Mr. Connoisseur ordered us these two keys. Pick up everything you said, only we can get closer. What did you say? There are shadows in there. It's probably too dangerous to get any closer right hey. now. Curious about the conversation they were having, but nothing we can do about it. I will definitely come back here later. I just wanted to see what was over here for, for a second. At the end of the day, we're clearing this entire place. Safe sex is great okay. sex. You better wear mm. a late text. You this don't is... want that late text that I think I'm late text. Rest of them must be connected to a different power source. Goodness, that's a save. Is this some kind of vault? According to the map, there's a great deal more beyond here. It's not a vault, but a partition of sort. The terminal there must be how you open it. But... Meaning we'll need two keys. Let's ask the shadows. Oh. You could be right. They were going on about some kind of key. Maybe they know where it is. Let's go. They're pain, gotta get activate the security cameras. No crap. I can feel it. I don't wanna go there yet. Enemy is annihilated. Well, on to the next Please, trial. You're so awesome. I think it's Cole, cause she's supposed to be like justice, right? And they gave her a shoot of six. 
And that's like what that's like stereotypical for police officers. Okay. Like revolvers. The battle's over. That's cold. I like that. After this, we gotta go back to Kemi's place. Ooh, there's one of Kanashiro's will seeds. Let's grab it. Okay. Oh. oh, we made it so far. Looks like there are shadows in here. Let's hide and listen in on them. But those intruders. Oh, are you really that concerned? Don't be. We have the keys we need, so things should be okay as long as we protect them. What? Talking about those two keys. Those are highly likely to be what opens the partition. What are we gonna do then? Beat him up and take the keys? Listen up. Look at him, not your average shadow. Anyone in charge of this important keep must be extremely strong. Two of them dealing with both of them would be tough. Plus, they could go and sound the alarm. Mm. Why don't we split them up and beat them individually? Monitoring room upstairs, the room we got the map in. Communication equipment, we could use that to lure one away. Great idea. Saving and fighting both at the same time. Thank you very much. We need to head to the monitoring room. Head over there right now. Thank you for that option, because I do not remember where that is. Um. Let's do it. Um. Okay, stay quiet during this. Come in, security room. This is the monitoring room. We've been ambushed by intruders, requesting backup immediately. One person would be perfect. R roger that. I mean, roger that. We'll send someone your way at once. All right. And there we go. All we need to do now is wait for the enemy. No one here. Not exactly. You're... This was a trap, you bastards. Oh. Hold on, that... He looks a little intimidating, I will be honest. Persona. We took him out. Oh. He had a key. Went pretty well. All right. One shadow in the security room. Let's snatch the other key. Hey. Why isn't he coming back? Could something have happened? Heading straight into battle. Are you ready for this? Hold on. Now then. Yes. Who are you? We're here for the other king. Didn't that calm earlier? How dare you? Get her out, get him out. Let's 
curtain falls. Okay. We've obtained both, both keys. Ah, uh, just one moment. Oh, snap! A map? Doesn't this map have a little more information than our own? Nice! Tell us what the bank's like further down. Mm. This is the most suspicious part. The area will be the deepest part. Elevated at least down. A treasure must be passed there. Indeed. The map does seem to indicate that the area beyond the partition is rather large as well. Security will keep getting more intense. We need to be careful. Okay. On three. One, two. This took some time, but we managed to force it open. Great teamwork, everyone. Yes, I agree. The cooperation of our whole team is what helped us through this particular ordeal. Dude, money so all over the floor. you took all of this from the weak. She's going to pay for this. Can I grab some of this stuff? Okay. Uh, we're gonna go home for now. I'm tired. I'm not gonna end the recording. Well, I might end the recording. I don't know. I'll probably just pause it. You know what? I'm gonna pause.